Hello everyone, and welcome to a new money farming tune for GT7 update 1.40. For this one we will be using the AFK method at Daytona. Thanks to Hyperspeed on GT Planet for the original info on this. Also thanks to Omega for the tip on quick loading the Tomahawk grid. If you appreciate our videos and find them helpful, please consider subscribing. So a quick overview, we'll be using the AFK method for this one, also known as the rubber band method meaning the car drives itself and you can go chill. It works for both PS4 and PS5. This method works based off custom race. GT7 works out the payout based on what PP your car originally is versus the other cars in your race. So we are using the lowest possible PP rating car with an engine swap up against the highest rated car, the Tomahawk. Note, you will need to have engine swaps unlocked for this to work. Also, completing circuit experience on the desired track increases the payouts. For this tune, we need two cards. First, go to the Dodge dealership in Brand Central and grab the SRT Tomahawk X VGT. It's a million dollars, but you'll make that back pretty quickly. Then go across to the tuning shop and buy Comfort Hard tires and the fully customized racing gearbox. Go to Garage and set the gearing as shown on screen. Next up is the Arbor. You'll need to go to the used car dealership and buy the Arbath 595SS70 for 49k. Then go to GT Auto Service, bit a wide body, and then install the K20 Civic engine swap. Then in car customization, go to wheels and install any wheels you like in the sizing shown on screen. Then go to custom parts, fit front type A and wing type A. Then go across to the tuning shop. The parts list is as follows. Racing soft tires, fully customizable suspension, fully customizable diff, fully customizable ECU, ballast and power restrictor, fully customizable racing transmission, nitrous, medium RPM turbo, anti-lag system, racing intercooler, racing air cleaner, racing silencer, racing exhaust manifold, carbon brakes, racing brake pads, brake balance controller, racing clutch and flywheel, bore up, stroke up, engine balance tuning, polish ports, high lift camshaft S, titanium connecting rods and pistons, racing crankshaft, all three weight reduction stages, and increase body rigidity. Double check against yours to be sure all is correct. Then copy all the tune details as shown on the screen. For the gearbox, first set the speed to 300, then set the final drive, then check you have all the same gearing as shown on the screen. Now go across to World Circuits, then Americas, and find Daytona International Speedway. On the bottom left, select your detuned Tomahawk. Go into Custom Race, then choose Select from Garage down the bottom, and hit the Open Garage button. The grid will be all Tomahawks. Save the settings and exit. Change the car to your Arbath, then select Custom Race. Load the settings you just saved. Set up the race as shown on the screen. 12 laps, 20 cars, 20 starting grid, rolling start 50 meters, nitrous multiplier 10 times, equal conditions mode on, rivals difficulty professional, rivals select from garage, then hit the open garage button and set yourself as the last car on the grid. It should look like this. Then save the settings for future use and start the race. Drive the car up to speed and over against the right wall and hit pause. Note, the car is pretty wild when it first starts driving and may try to spin. Now for controller settings. You will need three rubber bands or similar to lock the steering, accelerator and nitrous buttons. Here is how I set mine up on screen. Accelerator and nitrous need to be tightly held down. For steering setup, use the red dot on the screen and align it just to the right of the white center dot by adjusting the tension on your rubber band. I tied a knot in mine to do this and allow adjustment to set it just right. Note, another way is to use motion steering and put something under the left side of the controller to tilt it slightly right, as shown with this iPhone 8, aligning the red dot as I previously mentioned. This part is very important for maintaining fast lap times. Now go into settings, then assists, and set the car to automatic. No other assists are required. Then go into controller settings and make sure you have a button mapped for nitrous. Then turn off accelerator trigger effect if you're using a PS5. It stops it from pushing out and losing full throttle. Now unpause the game and the car will drive itself. 
I completed the race in around 10 minutes and received roughly 700k per race with the clean race bonus. So it's possible to make around 4.2 million per hour with this method. The tune can achieve consistent 48 second laps when everything is set correctly. You can also increase the amount of laps if you like, but the higher you go, the money does decrease. Also note, if you increase the laps, you will need to lower the nitrous output to compensate so it can last the full race distance. Hope you guys found this info helpful and can milk some more money before PD shut it down. I also have a driven tune for Bathurst that can make 6 million per hour here, so check that out too. If you enjoyed the video or have any questions or feedback, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Cheers.